Tori Peterson, Chester Reed was remarkable. Uh, then you go to Arthur Singer, uh, Eckleberry, this Eckleberry behind us, the game birds. with the game birds. Um, that Eckleberry, and I actually have it here. Here's Audubon Waterbird, 1951. I found that piece and was trying to buy it from the owner. And the owner said, well, it doesn't go with my Manhattan decor, so I will sell it. <laughs> and she had been the publisher of Doubleday. And I bought it. And so Amy got in the chase, because we, anyway, wanted to be working on them. And I think the word was that they had been lost or destroyed. Yeah. Uh, apparently, so that might be the only surviving one. But, it, but these guys, Eckleberry, and there's some over there, was so talented. And then the last, let me close with this. How many of you loved your Roger Tory Peterson field guide? I was born in 1947. My favorite is 1947. So in 1966, there's now this new field guide. And I'm going, wow, so Bobby and I look at one, and we're now feeling guilty because we're so committed to Roger Tory Peterson and the history of our field guides, and hesitated to buy this guy, and eventually did. And, and it really took it to a new level with colored backgrounds, which you now see in Peterson. It had an influence on Peter's later, Peterson's later revision, but yet vignettes. And um, eventually we ran with it, it was wonderful. But Arthur Singer was a remarkable artist. He was meticulous. And this is plate number one from the The detail, his ability to paint is just stunning. But they all were, they were all trained. And they created the field guides that opened the doors for us to become heavy birders and to enjoy nature. So my closing point is um, stewardship. We can enjoy birds, nature, love the birding experience, but the real key is to go to that level five that Peter refers to. And we can all make a difference. Uh, whether you volunteer, work on boards, phone calls of encouragement, no cards of encouragement, write the checks, it all counts. But it helps us to move forward. I started writing five and ten dollar checks, and that's all I could do at the time. But but I was happy. I was doing it. I was pleased. Now there were quite a few zeros behind them, but at the time it was a beginning. But it was a discipline. And it was a philosophy of wanting to help and make a difference. And whether it's a dollar or a hundred or a thousand, and you can speak of this, the organizations that receive the money, it's an encouragement to them. It could be a dollar, but it says that we're important to that person, and it sends that message. So empower yourself and get to that fifth level, as I'm sure you all are, but encourage others to do.